Welcome to Hooked on Utah. Hey, it's part two of our Sonoran, Mexico adventure. On this show, you're gonna see us chasing mule deer, coos deer. We're gonna try and track down some bobcat, coyote, and javelina. It's a great adventure, great time right here in Sonora, Mexico. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Our Hooked on Utah partners, the Ken Gar Ford Store in American Fork, featuring the F-Series Super Duty trucks. Goal Zero, renewable electric power anywhere. Prime Snacks featuring Desert Star brisket beef jerky. Browning, firearms and outdoor gear, the best there is. Smith & Edwards, Utah's original adventure store since 1947. Kershaw Knife Technology, made in America. And Interstate Batteries, outrageously dependable. Out here in the back country for Hooked on Utah, as it is for you, having some power for your electronic devices in it is an absolute must. I don't go anywhere without my Nomad 7. It gives me the ability to charge up my cell phone, my GPS, my radio. So when I'm in the back country hunting, fishing, having a great time, I always know those devices have the power I need to utilize them. Check them out, GoalZero.com, get yourself a Nomad 7. This week's adventure checklist, as always, can be found right here at Sportsman's Warehouse. Check out their new e-commerce website, sportsmanswarehouse.com. Order it online. Our adventure here in Sonora um, has been an exciting one. You know, we started out day one. We got here, went right out onto the properties and started driving around in the high rack vehicles looking for big bucks. Having never been to Sonora, my primary goal uh, was to shoot a buck over 180. That's kind of the benchmark I'd set for myself. We leave uh, this absolutely beautiful hacienda, start cruising up this road and we're working away. It's a little bit different terrain. It's a little more hilly. So we're kind of coming through these valleys Come around this one corner, look up on this hillside, and there uh, we spot a few does. And so we stop, we glass these does, and uh, we don't see anything, but there's quite a few trees right there. We move another 25 feet, and uh, one of the guides uh, you know, starts whispering, uh, Buro grande, buro grande. So we stop, we glass, we can't see it, but from his vantage point, he was below us on the high rack. He could see under the trees. Good shot. Good shot. Woo! <laughs> Good shot. Well, I think we just dumped a buck. I think we put the herd on him. Hey, Nico. Good spot. Good spot. Good spot. Good spot. Best of Mexico. Hey, now I got the shakes. <laughs> now that it's over, I got the shakes. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that buck. Gary, he's 30 inches. That's a big buck. <laughs> wow, a lot of hard work. I said, shoot. <laughs> well, look, here's my first shot. Yeah. I mean, right there. Right there, a little high. Look at that look buck. At that. Look at how massive that, that deer is. Sonora. This is Sonora, Mexico right here. This is why you want to get a hold of Gary. You guys want to kill a buck like this. You want to kill a buck like this, come down to Sonora and absolutely have, have the hunt of a lifetime. As soon as we came up this hill, Lico spotted it and said, uh, you know, grande burro, grande burro. It is absolutely the hunt of a lifetime. Sonora, Mexico, it doesn't get any better than this. In January, it's the time to be hunting. 